I'm Rhiannon from Barbecue Spit Rotisseries and today I'm going to show you how to cook up some pork belly on the Espetosil Rotisserie with perfect crackling just like this. Here we have a one kilo piece of pork belly. Now to help get that perfect pork crackling that everyone loves, what we've done is we've scored, we've salted and we've left it uncovered in the fridge overnight. So all we need to do today is flip it over and rub it with some Cosmos Q Killer Honeybee. Once we've rubbed the underside, add some more salt to the skin. So now the pork belly is all seasoned, it's time to put it on the espetosal. Now for a piece of one kilo pork belly, I'm expecting a cook time of just under an hour. Today we're using Flaming Coals Natural Lump Charcoal for that authentic smoky flavour. Make sure you have a pair of heat proof gloves and a charcoal rake to move the coals around. Now this charcoal is piping hot, so it's time to pour it into the kettle. So it's time to get the espetosal on the SNS kettle. Let me give you a quick rundown on the espetosal. It's rated to cook up to five kilos at a time, operates using just four AA batteries, and you'll get 50 hours cook time. It's portable, lightweight, and easy to store, and it's made from 304 food grade stainless steel, so it's super simple to keep clean. The pork belly's been cooking for a little under an hour, and as you can see, it's taking on some great color, particularly from the sugar content in the rub. Now it looks ready, but the only way we're really going to know is to probe it with an instant read thermometer. Now for pork to be cooked all the way through, we're aiming for a temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. With pork belly, I like to also test for doneness by testing how resistant it is. So it's currently sitting at 90 degrees Celsius and it's probing like butter. It's time to get it off and tuck in. Okay, so let's just recap for a moment. We've got a one kilo piece of pork belly that was cooked over flaming coals lump charcoal for close to one hour. It was probing at 90 degrees Celsius with no resistance. The crackling sounds perfect. The only thing left to do is to slice it and give it a try. That's delicious.